By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I am playing with my mono green deck and I'm taking on a green, white, blue, um, kind of aggro Arabian Nights build. And it, it has a lot of controlling elements as well. You see us both here starting with a Llanowar Elf and me swinging in. I can probably, he's probably not going to block this one I wanted to say because I have that Pendle Haven. Oh, and this is interesting. I'm playing the Arabian Nights Wolf. It's a 1-1 one, one, and you can tap it to give target creature plus 1, plus 1. So it can also give um, himself plus 1, plus 1. And there's a Sylvan Library and that's a problem because green is not great against enchantments and... Tranquility is not in my main board here, and we're just playing with our main board decks. Um, I am able, however, to do him three more damage using that Pendle Haven for that extra hit. So he's down to 16. And let's see, he can, of course, select his cards now, and he's showing it to the camera. There are three Mishra's factories. So is he going to take one, two, or three? Just to clarify, he asked me to, uh, to look away when he showed the cards. And he's taking one extra, so I have no idea what he actually picked. He's going to 12 now, so at least he's taking some damage. But he has card advantage. And there are two Argovian Pixies, so that's the 2-1 from Antiquities. And it has protection from Artifacts. It's a pretty good card. It's very effective against the factories. Ooh, and there is my Beta Giant Spider. The reason... Uh, the reason of building this mono green build because I have a play set of them and uh, I really enjoy giant spider I think it should see more play um, And here it is on the board. So that's going to be a nice attacker for me in the next turn So curious to see what uh, what you can do obviously having that sylph and he's able to go through his cards and there's that second uh, Mishra's factory, so that's that's a little bit getting problematic and there's a chaos orb as well so i wonder if he's going to flip that on my spider probably not i mean why would he right now he can always flip as a response and tapping three playing ice storm here and i i believe yeah i'm choosing one of his mistress factories and he's tapping it now to activate his other factory in pompous factory so that's a three three mistress factory i am attacking right now and this is important, his Mishra's Factory, the one he kept, um, that I kept alive, is the one with Summoning Sickness. And he's now thinking, am I going to block? Uh, he's playing with green, he probably has a trick up his sleeve. He chooses to double block here with the Pixies and a Factory. And I'm playing a Giant Grove, and this is actually great, he wants to tap his Mishra's Factory. Uh, but this is interesting. Um, Yoop actually told me this himself. He said, oh no, it has summoning sickness, so I cannot activate my Chaos Orb. Because the plan was to block, and if I would play a Giant Grove, he would simply activate his Chaos Orb. And that would save both of his creatures. Unfortunately for my opponent, the Mishra's Factory has summoning sickness, so he cannot use that mana. And that means that my Giant Spider is victorious! It became a Mega Giant Spider, and it crushed Mishra's Factory and the poor Argovian pixies, the little pixies are now in the web and are eaten by the spider. Yes, that's why I love giant spider. It's just such a good, um, such a good creature. So let's see, he still has a chaos orb on the board. And it looks like he's contemplating now, what am I going to do? And he's passing turn. So that's, that's great for me drawing my card here. I'm pretty happy. Also have that Arabian Nights Wolf to pump up my spider as well. Being able to make it a 3-5. So I'm just attacking again. No worries for me. And if he uses the orb, he uses the orb. I'm fine as well. And he seems to be thinking now what to do. And he's just jump blocking with the Pixies. I'm playing another wolf. And this kind of should have given me a hint. Because, you know, why is he jump blocking so easily? Uh, and, I, and I'm playing another wolf. Just trying to work on my board presence. Remember, he's on 12. And I know that he has that advantage with the Sylvan. So I just want to deal as much damage as I possibly can. Now he's attacking with this elf. I'm jump blocking the elf. And this should have given me a signal. Uh, you probably know what's coming now. 
it's pretty devastating. That's a balance. Oh, and I remember this. And I was just too cocky because I played the wolf. I, I, I killed the elf. If I would have played a little bit more cautious, um, because, man, this is really a setback. I lose all my creatures. Two wolves, a Lanawar, and a giant spider. And all I can do now is just play out a winter orb. Having that um, Mishra's factory in mind, I just want to make it difficult for him to activate it with that winter orb. Um, and there is a strip mine played by Yoop, and he's passing turn. Playing a forest. And I believe I'm passing turn again. So that's that's not much. My hand is pretty empty. I used up most of my uh, spells. You know, you, you saw me playing out a lot of creatures there at the beginning, but they're all gone. And there is the Urnum Jin. So that's a big problem for me. The 4 5 -er from Arabian Nights. It's a 4 5, and during the upkeep, it has to give another creature, a creature of the opponent, I should say, Forest Walk. But that's not a problem, of course. And there's Recall. Oh my goodness. So this, this game is completely. Uh, flipped. It's completely changed. Oh, and there's a meek stone. So this is great. But remember, my opponent still has that chaos orb, and I believe he's he's um, using the chaos orb now on my meek stone. And as you can see, I've put the uh, image here on slow motion so that you can see the flip more properly. And uh, and it's a hit. It's a clear hit with the nice alpha chaos orb there hitting my. Uh, I believe that's a revised meek stone. Meek stone's gone. It's in the graveyard. And um, yeah, this was kind of my my last straw. This was my plan to stay alive. So what I wanted to say is this, is this game took a dramatic turn after that balance because I was ahead, he was on 12, um, but it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go down to 12 here. And there is a time walk. Oh, and it's the blue power really kicking it here after the recall, you know, balance, recall, and then a time walk. And it's really difficult to play against that blue power. I'm on eight. He's passing turn. I need something good here. I need a green earthquake. I'm playing a cockatrice. That's not too bad. Cockatrice is pretty good. It's a two four. There's a disenchant on my winter orb. So what's my my opponent planning? Because there must be a reason for playing that disenchant now. He has tons of mana. He has quite a lot of cards. And there is a swords. Uh, yuck. That means I'm on 10, but I have no defense here. And there is, oh, oh no. Did you see that regrowth on the time walk? So that means that after this turn, there's an extra turn. And I'm on four. He's taking his extra turn. And yeah. I am dead. I'm toast. He's even taking away my Pendle Haven. Uh, just to make it all more painful. And there he goes. A swing for six. And that's it. So I lose this first game there was just too much blue power there at a certain point and that balance was just brutal unbelievable so let's continue to game number two game number two and at least i'm on the play after losing that first game and we didn't sideboard it's just a best of three with our main boards and there i go having a one drop again Oh, look at that start of Yoop. This is insane. Three Moxen playing a Surrender per free turn one. Oh, oh my goodness. And remember, I have to win this one. And there I go. I'm sacking, taking away a Mox there, uh, denying his blue mana. That's actually the big plan here. But this is a disaster start for me. There's a Pixies, even more pressure on the board. And I go to 17. What can I do? And I'm playing an Ice Storm taking away his tropical island. So I'm really trying to deny him of his blue mana. I don't want to see any more of that blue power or surrender befreeds. And he's taking away my factory, my only creature. And this is looking bad for me from the get-go. I'm on 12. I already lost the first game. At least I have another ice storm. So I'm not drawing that badly. I managed to uh, remove a lot of his permanents. Uh, but it's simply not enough because he's now hitting me for five. I want seven life. This could be the shortest game ever. Uh, what can I do? And I'm playing the wolf. At least I have a blocker then. That's a 1-1 one, one blocker. Uh, he's going to 16, getting some damage of the uh, Surrender Afrit. Well, my denying him of blue mana plan has completely failed now after that basic island and a tropical island on the board. 
and he's going to swing in for three. So he's putting my life total on four here. Playing another one. And so if nothing happens, at least I have one turn. Hopefully I can draw a giant spider or a cockatrice. Oh, and I'm showing him the giant spider. It's in my hand. And no, it's not good enough. I am losing this game. Wow, that was fast. Really, really fast. Well, okay, so I lost with my mono green um, giant spider deck. So I guess I have to go back to the drawing board and, and see what I can improve. If you have any tips for me, if you play mono green, remember it's underpowered. Um, let me know. And I, I don't want to splash anything. I just want to keep it green and simple. Um, let me know what you think of the deck, what you would do differently. And I thank you for watching this episode of Timmy Talks. If you'd like to see more, please check the link, uh, the description below with the link to the playlist or click on the link that's appearing right now. For now, thank you for watching Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. Ikitus, ikitus, somba, kazee! Thank you.